Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift may just be the biggest, fiercest, sexiest power couple the NFL has ever seen. Now, if you're out of the loop or just don't keep up with this kind of stuff, then you're probably unaware of the fact that this relationship has been brewing for the past few weeks. In fact, it started a few months ago when Travis Kelsey went on his New Heights podcast with his brother, where he's a co-host, great podcast by the way, where they went on it and, you know, they started talking about Taylor Swift and her Eras tour because, of course, it was the biggest thing in the world at the time, ruled most of the late summer, basically. Everyone and their mom was talking about it. And so Travis Kelsey went to one of the concerts and, you know, he brought some up, some information up about his time and what he did. I mean, he was really upset at the fact that he didn't get to meet Taylor and give her a friendship bracelet or his phone number. He didn't mention that on the podcast. And then he and his brother, Jason Kelsey, legendary Eagle Center, by the way, you know, they kind of just joked about it, moved on. But the media caught wind of it and, you know, it kind of got brought up every once in a while. And then it was dead for a little bit. It was a dead story up until about a week ago when rumors started swirling. All right. Yeah, things got spicy. Um, there was reports that maybe Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey ended up meeting up after all a few weeks later. And then to add fuel to the fire, Jason Kelsey goes on air and says the rumors are true. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift are 100% dating. Now, he did jump the gun on that a little bit, but a few days later, Travis Kelsey would go on the Pat McAfee show where he'd say his infamous quote, um, something like, Taylor Swift, I saw her, you know, rock Arrowhead, you should come see me do the same. And, you know, that was that was cute. It was a cute little thing, but we didn't know if anything was going to come of that. But then the big bombshell drops. It's Sunday primetime Chicago Bears versus the Kansas City Chiefs week three, even though it's not a primetime match because the Chicago Bears absolutely stink. I know I've mentioned this in, what, three videos at this point. They suck. The Chiefs were going to dominate. But anyway... You know, these two teams match up week three, and nobody, and I mean nobody, is talking about the game. Not just because it's a blowout, but because a special guest was there. That's right, sitting in the booth seats next to Miss Donna Kelsey herself is Taylor freaking Swift. All right, and if you watch the game, you probably knew that because half the broadcast was spent showing Taylor in the box. Showing her every time the Chiefs scored, which was all the time. I mean, the Chiefs ended up winning 41 to 10 or whatever. It was a blowout. And Travis Kelsey got a little touchdown, which is cool, you know? He really showed out. He balled out just like he said he was going to. And if Taylor being right next to Miss Donna Kelsey didn't all but confirm this little thing they have going on, then a video captured by Jarrett Payton, son of Walter Payton, legendary Bears running back, he captured a video of the two of them, Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift walking out of the arena together. I don't know, do with that what you will. But I don't really care. I don't really care about the relationship, but more about how this is going to affect Travis Kelsey's play. See, I'm under the belief that there's a little bit of mental warfare going on right here. If you don't know, Taylor Swift is a massive Eagles fan. She's rocked an Eagles jersey before. She celebrated when they won the Super Bowl. It's very public knowledge. She's an Eagles fan. And who did the Eagles lose to in the Super Bowl last year? The Kansas City Chiefs. So is she going on a covert mission behind enemy lines to infiltrate the Chiefs so that the Eagles have a better chance of winning? Possibly. And is she working with Jason Kelsey to do this? I think so. I think that's a real chance that this is happening. Now, you might be thinking, what exactly is the plan here? Well, she gets into a relationship with Travis Kelsey, really gets him attached. They fall in love, blah, 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 right? And then right before the playoffs, maybe even near the Super Bowl, she ends things. She dumps them. She releases a whole new album, you know, and you know, talks her shit. And guess what? His mental game is thrown off. He struggles in the playoffs. And all of a sudden, maybe they still make it to the Super Bowl. Maybe the Eagles and Chiefs rematch. Who knows? Travis Kelsey is off of his game now. And the Eagles win the Super Bowl. That's the plan. That's what I think is going on. I mean, who really knows if Travis Kelsey lets all the off-the-field drama affect his play? You know, the closest we've seen to this was when he was on 
Catching Kelsey, a little reality dating television series that he was the star of in 2016. It aired in 2016. You know, from October on, there was about eight episodes. He, you know, he played a little worse than his career averages, but a for the time, I think that was his third season. It was it was a pretty up and up season overall. So if Travis Kelsey was able to maintain his stats per usual when catching with Kelsey aired, then you know maybe this whole covert mission with Taylor Swift doesn't work for the Eagles. You know maybe he doesn't let that off the field stuff get into his mind, or maybe it does. Who knows? You know I'm really excited to see how this plays out on and off the field for Travis Kelsey. Uh, the Chiefs look great this year. You know, football-wise, their defense is probably the best Mahomes has ever had. I mean, we haven't seen a lot of it. It's only been three games. And in those three games, they've only given up about a total of 40 points. 21 of those to the Detroit Lions in opening game day week one, right? And that was because they were a little rusty, right? They had that Super Bowl hangover. After that, they locked in. They locked up Jacksonville. And what was supposed to be an explosive offense with Trevor Lawrence... Yeah, this Jacksonville team was supposed to be awesome. And they've gotten off to a bit of a rocky start. They're 1-2 at this point. They only scored 9 points versus the Chiefs. Shout out to their defense like I was talking about. Their defense is very solid. Got them to 1-1 one one by Week 2. And we all know what happened in Week 3. The game was so bad in Week 3 that the main storyline, like I said, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, and not what actually happened on the field because they, the Chiefs scored, what, 34 points by halftime? The Bears were blown out after, shoot, like the third the third drive for the Chiefs and the game was over. That's when the game ended. I mean, I'm a Bears fan. I watched it. It was miserable. It was miserable. So maybe Taylor Swift, I'm really rooting for her to, you know, for this plan to actually be true. But honestly, the Chiefs look stronger than ever. So who knows? The NFL should be absolutely scared. Or at least the rest of the league should be worried that they have the next dynasty on their hand. Yeah, you thought it was going to be over after Bill Belichick and Tom Brady broke up. They might have got six rings. They might have lasted two decades. But you know what? Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes decided to take up the mantle. And what a beautiful way to Tom Brady to go out, you know? He wins his last Super Bowl versus Patrick Mahomes. Only for Patrick Mahomes to go on and possibly win eight, nine Super Bowls. Maybe he outdoes Brady. He's already got two. He's already been to three of them. And the Chiefs are looking like maybe the future of the NFL. Who says the Cowboys are America's team? Uh, absolutely nobody says that, just in case you were wondering. But yeah, that's about it for the video. I just really wanted to talk about this relationship. Why? Because it's going to get views. It should get views, right? I mean, Travis Kelsey on the thumbnail next to Taylor Swift. How does that not bring in views baby plus i thought it was interesting and i sh i made like four videos about this week's so you know i made a video talking about the bears talking about the miami dolphins talking about fresno state so those videos should all be up around the same time as this one so make sure to check them out subscribe to the channel we're about to hit 2k be part of that be a little part of that it'd be cool it'd be cool to be here before i'm big right you're gonna come back by 2025 and be like i'm an og anyway like i said that's about it. Catch y'all later. Deuces.